Hey guys, it's Joe with West Michigan Guide Service. Um, today I want to go over, you know, a basic setup for center pin. Uh, this is actually one of my personal center pins. Um, it's a king pin R2525 on a custom tied Nova Tackle 13 foot, 6 to 10 pound rated rod. It's part of his IMX series. And honestly, it's a great rod for most your steelhead needs. But, so I have that paired up with a 14 pound mainline from uh, Suffix Advanced, high vis And then down to our, our float, which is on our fixed system, so we can free slide it. But the float, you know, uh, Brian Lee Smith float. Love his floats, use them for everything. And then, down to our seven, I want to say it's a 70 pound barrel swivel, to our 14 pound fluorocarbon leader with our split shot on it. Now our split shot is just a number seven round split shot. And I believe I have five, five of them on here. I got two up high and three down low, down to another 70 pound barrel swivel to a two foot, 10 pound leader, to one 12 millimeter bead, to a number two octopus hook. And then I'm running a tandem rig today, so I have another set leader tied with a fisherman's knot, down another two foot to another 12 mil bead, down to another number two octopus style hook. Now I snell both my hooks on, they, they line up perfect with the beads and allow for a better hook set. All right guys, now I'm gonna show you how to effectively fish this tandem rig with the center pin. So, if you haven't used a center pin before, all it is is a, a reel that has one little clicker on it just to stop it from spinning. You disengage the clicker and it's a free spool reel. Just goes with the flow. There's no drag. It's a one to one gear ratio. You have to use your hand to feather out the line and uh, fight fish. To do a simple, a, a, the most basic cast is a side cast. All you're going to do is take an, make an L with your hand and you're going to take that line and you're going to put it on the crease of your thumb while your fingers are on the spool of your other hand and it stops that line for just a second. All you're gonna do is you're gonna leave your left hand in position with your elbow tucked into your body. You're gonna swing over to your left. Now in one motion, you're gonna swing forward and you're gonna loosen up grip on your right hand and it should all just go out just like a spinning rod. And when it hits the water, keep the rod tip up high. You Keep your line tight to your float and as it's going down, you're just letting that reel spin. Now when bobber goes down, you want to tighten up that spool and set the hook. Now if it's a fish, when you set the hook, when you tighten down, the minute that you feel that head shake start, you want to loosen up just a little bit and give out just a little bit of line. That way you don't break off the fish. And then from there, you just got to play it out and don't put too much pressure on the fish. Don't let up too much, don't let up too much pressure and everything will be all right. Take your time and bite your fish. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Um, if you like what we're doing, please hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. If you want to get notified when we post a new video, hit the little bell in the bottom corner. And I hope everybody has a great evening, morning, day, whenever you're watching this video. Just remember that it only takes one fish to change your day around and we'll see you on the water.